every coaching client is different. They have to be taught a different way. Who's gonna role play today? Who would be good people that I could showcase that are doing really well that can get to the next level? What's up, real estate enthusiasts? Hey guys, I wanna to talk to you about what it's like to be a real estate coach. It is one of the coolest things that I've ever done. I find so much joy when I can watch agents dive in and find success. I had an agent this last week that we've been pushing and pushing more and pushing more and reached out three listing appointments in one week, took two listings. It's the biggest he's ever had. And in fact, he said this, he says to Wayne, I have never had more than one listing appointment a week. And this week I had three and I actually took two of those listings and it ended up being almost $4 million in real estate. It's gonna turn out to be a $120,000 commission and he did it in a week. And so now to see his mind expand and now see, hey, this is possible. I can do this. And it, it's so cool to see, so cool to see. So where does it start? The day starts off by, hey, let's look at the program. Let's see who we're working with this week. Let's see what needs they have. And that's one of the things I first do is I start looking at the needs of the group. Where are we struggling? How many contacts did we do? How many appointments did we take? How many under contracts did we get? And how many closings were there? In the coaching program, who's our top three? How are they doing what they're doing? What are they doing different than the other agents? How can I inspire that agent that's not producing, that looks at the program and goes, oh my gosh, why did I do this? How can I inspire the agent that's only doing 40 contacts a week? That means they're talking to eight people a day, five days a week. What do we need to do to help them apply what we're teaching? That's the start of my day. Then as I start diving into different systems and patterns that we can use to help these people see the value in getting to the next level, that's where the creative juices start to flow. And then sometimes it doesn't go as well as I'd like to say. I still have agents that don't do what we tell them to do. They don't get out and produce. They don't see the value in the coaching. And guys, that's hard. That's the hardest part of coaching. And there are people that have come to the program and that have never made it. They never got to the point where they closed 20 transactions or 10 transactions because they could never get outside themselves and really, really produce. But the times where they actually go and work hard and accomplish those massive goals that we've got set out for them, that really is what brings the pleasure to Jeremy and I more so than anything is to be able to provide value back and help people get to that next level. Guys, it's so cool. So from the morning routines, we start out with all this programming and topics that we're gonna cover, how we're gonna help these guys get excited. We start with motivation, we follow about training materials that I can teach on, different patterns, different thought processes, different things that might hit different people different, because guess what? Every coaching client is different. They have to be taught a different way. Who's gonna role play today? Who would be good people that I could showcase that are doing really well that can get to the next level? So the top coaches, they can help everybody at their own way of learning to accomplish those tasks. So if you're looking for coaching, you've got to find people, number one, that are successful. Because guess what? There's a lot of coaches out there that aren't even in real estate. that are not even selling real estate and they're coaching. Number two, you've got to find coaches that have a track record, that have had agents underneath them, that they have trained, that have gone out and absolutely crushed it. And number three, you've got to have coaches that care more about their clients than themselves, are humble enough that they will teach them in whatever way possible to help them get where they need to be. And lastly, I would say, you gotta be patient. So patience is my hard part because I want everybody selling $15 million in production every year. And getting to push them to that point, man, I wanna push them. I want them there next week. I want them there next month. And I know that's not possible for a lot of them, but I look at me and I was like, well, I sold 10 homes in a month. I did 89 homes part-time. Why can't they do that? Why can't they sell 45? full-time. Why can't they jump to that 15 million mark immediately? That's kind of my mindset. So I've got to be patient and I've got to let the time happen and, and allow them to grow. And guys, that's the cool part is watching them grow because as they get better and better and better, you take Andy in our coaching program. He's been on a lot of our uh, YouTube calls. I've also done a lot of recordings with him where we role play. And one thing that I have seen with Andy is Andy's gotten really good at role play. Andy can converse, he can do his scripts, he's learned what questions to ask and how to ask it. And now he's this close to where he's closing four or five a week. 
getting people under contract, building up to that 10, 15 under contract at all times. So that's exciting for me because I know Andy's going to be a beast in this, in this business. He's going to be a massive leader for us. And I know there's many others that are taking those steps to grow like crazy. Take William, for instance. William's closed 13 deals using our methods in the last few months, maybe two and a half, three months he's been in our program. So that being said, you know, it's cool to watch him take off because now he's on pace just to completely obliterate all the agents around him in this market. And um, these are the things we live for, guys. These are the things that make everything worth it. And you've got to have that positive attitude. You've got to help everybody to stay focused, to keep driving, to be persistent, and to know that this is hard. Prospecting's hard. Being an entrepreneur is hard. Being your own business is hard. Sales is really hard. But guess what, guys? That's why we get paid the most money out of any other field out there. Sales makes more money than anything. And once you put forth the effort to figure it out, you will succeed. And it, it may take time, but you can't give up. You gotta keep going over and over and over again and have someone hold you accountable. So what we did with Alvin, like, dude, you've got to work harder. You've got to put in more effort. You've got to be more diligent. And that's what it took. And the cool thing about Alvin is he was willing to take the feedback and follow it. And because he did, he's on pace to bring in $120,000 commission in May. So guys, massive love to chat with you more about coaching. If you guys have any questions, please reach out. I'd love to answer any of those questions. 801-243-4544. Tell us your coaching stories, what you've good, the bad, the ugly, and let us know what questions I can answer for you to help provide value back to you guys. Have a great day, you guys.